been a person who's been getting talked to more and more about riding the draft stock. Guys like Mel Kuyper, ESPN experts, are saying, like, hey, Bub means he's a sleeper. What does it mean that you're hearing more and more people talking about you as a draft um, Everything that I hear about me is a blessing. It's just a blessing to be in this opportunity and um, play me in this position. Um, I'm grateful for every opportunity I've, uh, I've had, and I'm just ready to go out there and show what I can do. What do you think is the biggest aspect of your game, whether it's athleticism or, or on tape, that you think people are saying, like, oh, I need that, I'm in the NFL? Um, well, I'm a competitor. Like, every rep, I compete. I got to win my one-on-one. -on -one. So, like, I'm trying to do dominate the person across from me. So, I'm just – that's what you're getting out of me. Every rep, anything, we, 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 it don't matter the task. Like, I'm always trying to win my one-on-one. -on -one. Is, is draft weekend going to be stressful for you? Um, I try not to uh, worry about that too much. I know God going to take care of it, so I just leave everything in his hands and just keep working. But Sounds you like you put, put on a little bit of weight since oh, the combine. Yeah. Does it still feel natural? Are you still moving the same Oh, way? yeah, I'm just um, put on a little weight to stay hydrated, you know, um, just making sure that I uh, keep my muscles healthy. That's all, really. That was intentional then? Yeah, put I put weight? on a little. Uh, I just made sure that I was really hydrated today. Uh, it was going to be a, a very uh, intense workout, so I just wanted to make sure I stayed on top of it. Are you still uh, maintaining? I think it was a 4 4 3 40 at the combine. Still oh, yeah, maintaining I, something? I'm probably faster than that right now. I'm just, uh, I don't never feel like I'm slowing down. I'm always feel like I'm running. Yeah. Uh, I probably play around 218 to 220. So. Bob, do you get the sense from the time after? Your season ended here that you've opened some eyes that some people have seen things from you they didn't maybe didn't necessarily know were there yes sir um I'm, i think that i've made a good impression on some of these scouts and some of these coaches um right now i'm just still working still grinding to still get my name out there and um just keep building my draft stock as high as possible you know, they always have like the underclassmen cheering you guys on watching yeah. and whenever you did that when you were younger did you have a sense like yeah i'd be pretty good at this combine stuff um yeah, it's always like a dream to I get to go out there and compete and show show the world what I can do. But um, as a young guy, just seeing my brothers go out there, that's motivation enough. Like just seeing my brothers, the people that I worked so hard with, that I uh, that I struggled with, that I fought with, like just go out there and get to chase their dream. That's a blessing um, in itself, right there. Malcolm was telling us how you just be eating hot chips and the yep. sweet tea, and then you just be burning it right off. Yep. What's it? What's your process like to just kind of take on, like take on extra water weight, shed it, and then just be able to put it right back on when you work out? Um, well, I just got to make sure that I'm staying on top of my weight. So like, I try to. Anytime I lose a lot of weight in practice, I try to make sure I just drink a bunch of water, sweet tea. He he. he he owe me about the sweet tea because I, I drink sweet tea a lot. But I like, like to drink a lot of water. That's how I put my weight back on. So today when I come in, 227, just I had put a lot of water in my system, making sure my uh, muscles hydrated, you know. Uh, I probably, like right now, I probably lost it. Lost about four, five pounds just in a little workout. We did 15 minute workout. So you never know. So like just the water, get on me uh, and just get off me real fast. So. I mean, good. How many teams have you talked to? I know we talked at the combine. How many teams have you talked to since then? Um, I think I talked to about two teams since then. I got a few few set up like zooms and stuff so i'm just uh still enjoying the process and taking taking it day, day by day is it hot chips and, and sweet tea your breakfast today uh actually um i i got some gumball my mom bought me some gumball <laughs> <laughs> here we go my mom bought me some gumball so i didn't i ate about a few gumballs came out here and got to it you know when did you have the hot chips oh i you know i always keep hot chips i'm gonna go get some from this uh, stuff right after this <laughs> <laughs> when teams ask you what they're getting in you what do you tell them um Right now, um, I, I can show them that I'm getting, you're getting a competitor, hard worker, humble, great teammate, um, willing special teams player. I'm just all around a, um, a good football player and a good person. That's what you, uh, what a team is getting from me. Bob, I know he's with the Patriots now, but how yeah. much of a help has Coach Underwood been throughout this process? Mm -hmm. And what was it like to get together with him today and see him? Today? Oh, it was a blessing. Now, that's my dog, man. I'm, it's always good seeing my own, seeing my dog, Coach Underwood, man. Um, it was just a blessing to get to be coached by him. Get, got to experience um, Pitt with, with Coach Underwood. So um, I guess you could say, like, it's, it's words can't even describe how the the relationship with me and Coach Underwood and, and the and the vibes and the and just like the things we've been through to get to here. Like, yeah, he, he didn't help me a lot. Did, did did you know he was gonna be here today? Or? Oh yeah, he told me before he came out. He said, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm coming out, put on a show. Like, yeah. Well, this school's known for producing a lot of defensive backs. Mm -hmm. Was that a benefit going up against those guys every oh, day? Oh yeah, for sure. Them boys competitive. Them boys is good. Like. They gonna compete every single rep, every single play, every single drill. Like, so for them to come out, for me to go get to play against them every single day in practice, it made the game ten times easier. Which, uh, which teams have you met with or are planning to meet with? Um, 
right now I'm I'm discussing with my uh, agent. It's a few teams that want to meet with me after today, but um, I think I met with I think the Cardinals and the Raiders as, uh, on Zoom so far, and then I got a few set up after the um, after today, but. So far, I've met with those two teams. Between now and the draft, what goals are you looking to accomplish? Um, well, I always, I, I always want to get better at my craft. So, like, as of right now, I'm just still working on top of route techniques and just getting better as a receiver, getting better as a football player. Um, everything else, God gonna take care of it. Like I said, I can't, I, I can't do too much that's gonna actually drastically change my draft style. You know what I'm saying? So I just gotta keep, keep working and just keep grinding and wait till my name get called. From your time here, Steelers next door. Um, I talked to them at the combine, but I didn't get to talk to them like not no, not no uh, formal interview or anything. But yeah, uh, they right next door. So it's all I love there. From your time here, if, if teams are asking you to fire up the tape of one play or one game, mm -hmm. which one are you pointing them to? Um, right now, it'll either be the Wake Forest game or the Florida State game, just from this year, just to show that I, um, Florida State game, just because they was number four in the nation. When we played them, and just show that I get to, like, I get to perform at a high level against a uh, high, high um, competition. And then the Wake Forest game, I had a few catches, had I think 109 yards. That was my season high. So it was just a great game. I had a great catch late in the game to put us up. So I, I, those would probably be the two games that I tell them. What wide receivers should we be looking uh, to break out of Pitt this fall? Wide well, receivers from Pitt, um, Kanate Monkfield. You can't forget about Kanate. Uh, De Dejon Reynolds, Kenneth um, Johnson. We got. <laughs> Uh, Lamar, we got Zion, all them boys good. Look, they're going to have a very, very, very explosive offense next year. What, what did Pitt do for you as an institution, as a program? Mm -hmm. Like, like how, What do you take away from this? Um, well, Pitt made me into not only a better football player, but a better young man. I got to be coached by people like Coach Underwood. I got to meet teammates like my dog Malcolm, my dog Quez, my dog uh, MJ, AJ, all of them boys. Like They all helped me become a great, great young man and just a better football player. And I'm, I'm glad I got to experience this with them.